Okay, so when you want to edit your graphics that we give you in SmartArt in PowerPoint, the easiest thing to do is to go into your student materials and then into the graphics folder. So you're going to edit them there and then you can always copy and paste those into your course book or slideshow or anywhere else. There, You'll see that there's a PowerPoint file and there's a shapes file. The shapes is not in PowerPoint. We've just converted the the shapes and stuff uh, from a smart art into individual ones. So if you're not using PowerPoint and you have a very old one, you'd use that. Otherwise, I'll open up the PowerPoint file and you can see here these are from the course called Know Your Why. There's some simple ones and then there are some ones with different icons and even a timeline which is um, a lot more difficult and more manually done. So we're going to focus on the individual ones. First, you can change the colors in one click by going into the very top tab here into Design. And then over to the right, you'll see a box called Variants. Click the down arrow there, then click Colors. And you can highlight any of those, click one, and it'll change it everywhere. Or you can, again, click on that Variants down arrow go into colors, go to the bottom and click on customize colors. And this is the, the easiest thing for future slideshows as well, because you can just change it to your brand colors. Change, click on any of the accent ones, play around with them, click on more colors at the very bottom, and you can put in your actual brand color codes as well. And then when you're done, you'll go into the bottom here. Let's click OK. You'll go into the bottom here name it something and click save and then the next time you go into a slideshow you can go over on the right to variants again in design click the down arrow click on colors and you'll see that showing up i'm just going to leave it as the content sparks one now to edit the actual text in the graphics you can go into the graphic itself if you click anywhere you can change the text you want to try and highlight the whole box so that you see these little guidelines all around the outside. And then you can either click inside and just change the text. Um, you can change this text by typing in, or you can click on this little arrow on the left. You got to kind of look closely at that. And it opens up the box that has all the text in there. These are simple bullet point list. You could even put them somewhere else in an, and then paste it in, but I like to see it as I go. And this is for something like this where it's just single lines and nothing underneath. So you can delete ones, you can add in. So I'm going to delete that just by click, highlighting it and clicking the backspace. Say I want to add one at the end, I put my cursor at the end and click enter to add a new one. So this is a new um, bullet. Right. If I clicked enter again, it would add yet another. So I'm going to backspace to go back up there. I also don't like the fact that this is orange again. So I'm going to highlight just that box. You can see the dots and go up into smart art design on the top tab. And I want to just change the color of the whole thing. But actually I can just, uh, this would affect the whole design. So I'm going to go into format, which is also highlighted because I can format that one box and then I'm going to change the fill here. You can see here it says shape fill, shape outline. So if I want to just outline, I could do that. I could do a fill of something different. I can change the text over to white. So you can also have a text fill or I can go back to the home page and just change that color. So just sort of the, the usual formatting you would do using Word. So that's that one. Now let me show you a slightly more difficult one. Again, this is one of the designs in SmartArt. I've clicked in a white space and highlighted the whole thing again. And then I'll click this left arrow to show you how the text is done. So in this particular design, you have these, these little arrows which you can actually put text in. So I could number these, like number one, and the text would go in this top level bullet point. The one underneath where this text is, is indented. 
So in this case, we wanted the these little arrows to be blank, so we just left those first bullets blank and then put the other text. So let me show you by adding a new one. I'm going to add a new one right after this first one because I don't like that one. So I'm going to go into the blank tab, and you can see it highlight as you go when I have my cursor on that bullet point. I'm going to click Enter. That added a new one. But then I need to do an indent, right, to put text in there, and then click Enter again and backspace so that I still have this formatting. So you can see there's top level indent, top level indent, and that's the chevron or the arrow and then the text the arrow and the text, and you can see this next indented one has no text. So this is a new item. It's actually easier to see when I add one at the very bottom. So I'm going to go to the very bottom, and this time I'm going to put my cursor at the very end of this text. You see where it says getting noticed by management. So I'm going to put my cursor there and click enter. So if I don't put that back out, to the, if I don't click backspace to get that bullet out, it would just add a little bit of a space to put some, um, some more indented text here, it is more text, right? But I don't want that. I want that to be a top level one. So I'm going to click, I'm going to put my cursor at the very start and I'm going to click backspace. Now, again, I don't want text there, right? I want it blank. So actually I need to go down, backspace, right, and then click enter again. That would have just entered a new one, but if I click tab, it indents it so you can put a little text in there. And it's easiest again to work in this side box so that you can see this is the last bullet. All right, so you can see that that can be a little bit trickier, but if you see how it's laid out where it's a top level bullet and then one underneath that's indented. So you're just using your tabs and your backspaces to do all that. I want to show you actually how to change design as well. So here I'm going to highlight the whole smart art again. This is a simple one. I'm going to go into the top tab and you'll see smart art design is highlighted, a new menu item. I'll click on that and then you'll see a whole choice of layouts here. So you can go through, you can click the down arrow and see others, and they'll all kind of show up as you scroll over them. And some are more complicated, some have places to drop an image in, some just do not work with that text. Here's another one where there's a, a vertical block where you can kind of see that there's text on the left and the right. So here, if I click on that, I'll do that same thing with the indenting where I go enter and indent, and then I get that extra content on the right. This is a, an indented bullet. All right, and then you play around with that, with the text, you can highlight the box and use your home, your regular editing tab to make it smaller. You can do that when you're done for the whole thing by highlighting the whole graphic and making everything smaller. So that's where you can just sort of play around, change the colors of just one box like that. I might want just an outline um, just by using the format when you have a shape done. And this is just playing around with different shapes and styles in PowerPoint in general. But the smart art is the main thing that you want to just try and use their features as much as possible. So again, for this one, I don't want any indented bullets there. I just want the arrows. So I'm going to backspace and delete it. See again on this left-hand box. So I go back, 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 and there I'm back in there. And it's kept that other formatting. So say I want to make that that dark blue. I'll, I won't have to go into the smart art design. I can go in format at the very top here and then go over to shape fill and you can pick your shape fill. If you've set up your brand colors, you'll see them up there. So I'm gonna click shape fill. And in this case, because I had changed it to an outline, the text changed to black. So I have to go back to the home tab and change that text to white.
and now I'm back to where I was. And I might play around with some other colors, like this one I don't want as a blue again. So, you know, smart art isn't always perfect in the way they do the random colors. So you might want to play with that a little bit. And that is it. Please do let me know if you have any questions at all, and then have some fun with your smart art.